If I had one donut here, and it was just a donut, and I had one donut here, and I put a little arsenic in it, and I told you that, you would probably pick the donut without the arsenic. Would you not? But when I put an apple here and a donut here, does your brain say that that donut is the most carcinogenic food, meaning the most carcin the cancer-causing food I could put in my mouth? Does it say that? When you look at it, do you say, that's the, that's probably, it takes 52 days for that donut to go through my system. That that's the most carcinogenic food I could probably put into my body, and I'm going to choose that over top of the apple. Right? But if you don't have that framework and that understanding and that belief system to understand the choice that you're really making, you can make choices that are incongruent with what you really want. Because I have I've yet to meet too many people that say that they want to be sick, suffer, be in pain, and live a shorter, worse life. Who wants that? But ultimately, every day, we're going to make decisions that either move us toward that or away from that. You with me? And so what I'd like to do is maybe change the way we think and the why behind what we do, and I think it'll make the decision-making a little bit, pro bit, bit easier, right? So if I could make that choice a little bit easier for you, I think you'd make the right choice more often. So my story is simply, you know, how, how does a chiropractor get into doing this? Uh, it simply became out of a demand for my patients. Is that I was taking care of people and I was helping them and their, their backs felt better and their headaches went away and their hands weren't numb and they had less indigestion or their bowels moved better or whatever it was that they came to me for. But I started noticing that most of these people were on high cholesterol medication. Most of these people were diabetic, right? Uh, we got about... 25% of the population taking one, uh, four or more drugs, all right? In America alone, we take 25 million pills an hour. Every hour, we take 25 million pills, right? Those are, those are scary numbers. The number one cause of death in the entire world is preventable illness, meaning that more people die from preventable illnesses every year than all other conditions put together. In America, we spend twice as much money per year, per person, on health care as any country in the world, right? And we rank 49th in life expectancy. You see, there's, there's, there's something wrong, right? And we say we're having a health care debate. The reality is we're not having a health care debate. We're having a debate over who should pay for the sickness care system that we have in place.